So this is the second part of our Nicino video. Uh, this has been resting 40 days. And again, if you want to see how we made this originally, you can go back to our uh, video part one, uh, our Nicino video on uh, cooking like Antonio, and you can see all the ingredients that go into it. Now I recall saying in that last video that it would turn dark, and after 40 days, it has turned a nice dark color, so uh, apparently we've done, we've done something correctly. And so now we're into part two, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, so our next step is to go ahead and add the sugar. It's 300 grams or 11 ounces of sugar. Uh, we have sanitized our funnel, and we're gonna go ahead and add that right to our uh, Nocchino. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And it's supposed to be caster sugar. Uh, in our particular area, we could not find it, so this is just normal sugar that you, you know, find it, you know, wherever. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. Let it go through. Okay. And just to be clear, when we said 300 grams of sugar, that's 300 grams per liter. We've actually done seven liters, so we had to add six more uh, to our mixture. Um, at 300 liters a piece, or 300 grams a piece. So we're going to have our last one now. And again, that's 300 grams per liter of Nocchino uh, per the recipe. Okay, so now that our sugar is added, I'm going to go ahead and add the top uh, back, and I'm going to give it a nice shake up until that sugar is dissolved. Now, this is a very large container, so it, it might take a little effort, but we're going to go ahead and give it a good shake for you. It's going to take a little bit. And just, you know, just so you know, all of our equipment that we're going to be using today has been sanitized using Star Sand. So all of our bottles we're going to be using have been cleaned and, you know, so forth. So um, all of our stuff is sanitized. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let that settle for just a little bit. When I look at the very bottom, I want to make sure there's no sediment of sugar in there. So it might we might have to uh, repeat the process several times to get that sugar nice and dissolved into our Nocchino. So as you can see, there's still just a little bit of sugar on the bottom of this. So we want that nice and dissolved. Um, there will be a little you know foam that might settle on the bottom that might look like sugar. Well, that's fine, but we want that sugar dissolved. So I'm gonna, I might have to do this several times. Okay, shaking that up was a bit of a workout, but I think we finally got it ready. Now again, we have our bottles sanitized, so the next step, very simple, is we're gonna to start to transfer the contents from the big to the small, um, bottle by bottle. So we do have a funnel, and again, all of our equipment has been sanitized, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is gonna be, it's a kind of a large vessel we have here, but I'm gonna go ahead and start slowly adding this to our bottles. And you know, not only do we have a funnel, we do have a strainer in here to kind of strain out some of the particles and some of the walnuts. Okay, I have spilled just a little, but that's kind of the process. And we have had commercial Nocchino before. Uh, it tastes very good, and I can tell you that this smells exactly the way it's supposed to. It smells very, very good. So that is our first bottle of future Nocchino. And on to the next and just repeat the process as needed uh, until you're done. Okay, so this is what seven liters of Nocchino looks like after we bottle it up. Um, we have plenty of reciprocals. Again, everything was sanitized. Now our, our recipe doesn't call for much aging necessarily after the 40 days. We are gonna do a little taste sample here, but almost all the other research we've done on Nocchino recommends a minimum of six months of aging. So we're gonna go ahead and age this for six months, but we are gonna take a taste now to see how close we are. And again, I've tried, you know, commercial Nocchino before, so I have a pretty good idea of what it's supposed to taste like. So if you see me fall over here, um, you know it's not ready yet, but um, we'll take a little taste. We'll see where we are. Okay, so here's where we are. It tastes like Nocchino, but you can tell it's not ready yet. Um, it doesn't taste, it doesn't have that smooth taste yet. It kind of it's just a little harsh yet, and Nocchino is a much smoother drink. You can see all the elements are there. Uh, when you take a drink, it definitely is, is on its way to being Nocchino. I think at the minimum, a couple of months of aging anyway is going to do this do this uh, drink a lot of good. Um, we are going to go ahead and let the bulk of it last, you know, uh, um, age for six months. But I can tell you, according to what I'm tasting right now, uh, we're definitely on the right path. 
this tastes like Nacchino, but you can tell it's unfinished Nacchino. Um, it's not as awful as some people said it would taste. Some people said it was going to taste really bad. I don't think it tastes horrible, but it's definitely, you can definitely tell it's not ready. So I would say let this age for a little while uh, before we're ready, but here you go. This is stage two, and uh, we'll see you next time.